Upon startup, you will be prompted to run a pre-use check. The pre-use check takes approximately five minutes and should be run between patients. To activate the pre-use check, press yes on the screen. I will then be prompted with illustrations that'll guide me through the startup. And now we're gonna do the first step of the pre-use check. The illustration on the screen will tell us what to do. We're going to take our test tube and connect it to the inspiratory and expiratory outlets on the ventilator. Then we'll acknowledge by pressing OK on the screen. We will then continue to cycle through tests on the ventilator. To perform the power test, simply unplug the unit, listen for the audible tone, and plug the unit back in. The final step of the pre-use check is the circuit test. It's important to use the circuit, filters, and any accessories that you plan to utilize with the patient. If an active humidification system is going to be used, assure the humidifier is set to off and the chamber is full of water. Note on the screen, step one. Step two is to occlude the circuit. Once the circuit is connected and occluded, confirm on the screen and follow the on-screen prompts. The circuit test will pressurize the circuit. Once pressurized, the final step is to remove the circuit from the occlusion and leave it open to room air. Once the pre-use check is completed, we are taken to the standby screen. Note, no ventilation is occurring while we are in standby. In the upper corner, I can see the results of my pre-use check and my patient circuit test. I can also run the circuit test separately.